Um, what would be in the history that would make you have some concern the kid could have this thing we call WPW or some other related uh, condition? What would you be looking for in the history? So if, if patients, uh, depending on, on what exactly the condition is, uh, the symptoms with which patients present uh, may vary a little bit. Uh, patients who have SVT or have WPW, uh, we might suspect that they would have uh, palpitations or the sensation that their heart is beating rapidly for a prolonged period of time, and, and then uh, when the ep these episodes uh, stop, they stop suddenly, just uh, in one beat, uh, and uh, that would be highly suspicious for someone having SVT. Uh, other uh, dangerous uh, electrical conditions, uh, such as long QT syndrome or Brugada syndrome, uh, are, are uh, they typically present uh, with symptoms such as uh, syncope or, or passing out, and uh, the way that these patients pass out is is uh, atypical compared to patients who who pass out for more benign reasons. Uh, they may pass out during exercise and uh, very suddenly and uh, without. So the any key point here would be. If the kid was playing a sport and they had a tachycardia more than they expected, or they had chest pain while playing a sport, we're not talking about playing a sport, that's a little bit of a red flag? Uh, the, if the symptoms during exercise, if, if you have syncope during exercise, then uh, uh, that is a red flag. If you're having palpitations during exercise, that may or may not be... Uh, it's considered, but it's an absolute. It's, it's something that you would have to consider. I really, I think that if the child is old enough and you can uh, get a, a good history, if you can, if you can uh, tease out uh, the nature of these palpitations uh, and, and whether or not they, they seem typical or not, uh, regardless of whether or not the patient is exercising, it could be indicative of a SVT. Because most of the time chest pain in kids is usually not cardiac, but right. if it's involving an exercise, we always consider it a big red flag when we have to check right. it out a little bit more. Is that true? Yeah, chest pain uh, in particular, uh, you have to be a little bit more suspicious if it's occurring during exercise. I think uh, not all chest pain during exercise is going to be uh, is going to have a cardiac etiology, but you have to, I think, I inquire a little. We're bit not further. saying it is. We're just saying that it's a red flag of concern, so sure. it should be evaluated. Right. So, but then, then things to to question and uh, to keep in mind is uh, whether or not uh, this. The nature of the chest pain, if it's sharp or, or, or more of a pressure, if there are associated symptoms, and uh, if there are things that can exacerbate the, the chest pain, such as uh, movement or, or deep breathing. But if, 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 it's un, if it's not clear that this is a, a muscle or skeletal issue, this, uh, whether or not it's, it's occurring with exercise, then it should be evaluated by a cardiologist.